The goal of this video is to provide tips and techniques to ensure that Polywater's AFT aerosol foam sealant is used safely and deploys properly. It's important when mixing AFT that all the steps in the mixing and deployment process are followed. Make sure that you review the chart of target fill times on the AFT can label and use them to determine how much sealant you will need. Wear protective equipment as the can instructions recommend, safety glasses, gloves, and protective clothing. Remove tape or cable ties from cable bundles and separate cables. Insert a dam of crumpled paper or foam strip pieces about six inches into the conduit. Shake the can for 60 seconds to mix completely. Lift hinge and insert the actuator nozzle into top openings so that the arrow lines up with the actuator nozzle. Invert the aerosol can. The aerosol can must be upside down for the foam to deploy correctly. Insert nozzle all the way into the seal space. Squeeze the trigger firmly and quickly, making sure that it's fully depressed. When filling conduits, move the actuator nozzle to all areas of the conduit to make sure that you have a complete seal. Make sure that you spray between cables. After AFT has been deployed, place an additional dam on the outside of the conduit or hold with gloved hands until expansion is complete to prevent the expanding foam from escaping the conduit. The foam should be uniform in color. Be aware that AFT foam sets quickly. The actuator nozzle may be reused within 45 seconds. If the timing of your next application is more than 45 seconds, you will need to use a brand new actuator nozzle. The can may be reused multiple times with new actuators. Additional actuator nozzles are available in packs of 10. For vertical applications, you can bend the actuator nozzle 90 degrees.